You! Let me take a look at you, stranger. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Sounds like the Danoth could use a hand dealing with these rebels. You make yourself stand out with that. Keep your eyes open out there, soldier. There's another cauldron out there that has override data on that machine. out here is sick with blight too but we'll be able to heal all of it once guy is strong enough to capture hephaestus
Knock settlement. I'll have to watch my step. Sean.
Over spreading its sickness. <coughs> 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 be interested in this.
dire later. Getting close to Ether's location. The guy said it would be in some kind of physical processor. An ancient ruin. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Ether be inside? Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. killed since. And Regala's army only grows in strength. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions... You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the Chief. He can be very convincing. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come.
Be welcome among the records of the Ten. Come here, a soldier in the fleet Ten. It's glitched, incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's the chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as best we can. Led by chaplains were The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. But for the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength, something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat, a land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They sound a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Hey, Outlander! It said that relic you wear can hear the voices of the old ones. Is this true? You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. 
I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons, and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. 
You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did, on the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. And suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. What did the Old One say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne, you went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. speak. Send this to my stash. Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get Aether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. I'll be faster if I ride a machine.
you down! Now the tide's turned! Done. 
<sighs> Stuff for the stash. Please, my squad may need help. You've got to help my friend. Wait. Slow down and explain. Fatay and I were heading south with supplies from Saltbite when machines attacked. I left her behind so I could get help from the Grove and ran straight into another machine. Thank the Ten you were here to help. So your friend is still up the road, fighting machines? That's what I'm trying to tell you! I'll bail her out if I can. You go on and get those reinforcements. Will do. I'm in your debt. Together to Nox should be somewhere up the road. The supply smelt. Minus the supplies. And the Tanox soldier. It looks like the Tanox tried to salvage some supplies after getting attacked. And dropped them? They're running battle? Maybe they can lead me to the other soldier. Tracks from the missing Tanakh. Definitely looks like the other Tanakh ran off this way. I must be the other Tanakh. Sent me by the ten that lump made it. I thought we were both finished. Let's clear out these machines. Attack! No time to lose. 
shown up, I would have been machine grist. All I did was give your friend here a little time to come to the rescue. Ah, you're full of it. I barely escaped with my life on the road. That, I believe. I, uh, hope some of your supplies are still usable. Me too. Food's always scarce. The soldiers at the Grove need the rations. No way we can trek back north to Saltbite to get more. I'll get this one back on her feet and we'll scrape what's left of our haul of dirt. Mmm, you're making me hungry. Thanks, Outlander. We won't forget what you did. Stay safe, both of you. Stash this away for later.
Wait. One more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Catello should be waiting for me. But maybe I should look around first. Maybe even catch a few fights in the arena. Come on! Stranger, are you looking to trade? Seems quieter when it snows. Honorable paint. Scatolo. Is that the champion? Oh, then I've come from the This writing. It's Karja. I think it was left behind by Marshal Fischoff. Really? There is nothing you want. Yeah. Wanna know where I am? What you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands, Eastern. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you. A Talnex made its home in an abandoned village southwest of here. But I hear there's other, less amenable machines stalking the area. I'd avoid going anywhere near there if I were you. Thanks for the heads up. And if I can override that toll neck, I'll get a lot of data about the surrounding area. It's worth checking out. This valley is infested with Regalus rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride. Others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts. Especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. 
For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The Bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Akaro's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Regalus troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. On me. Hello. Greetings, champion. I'm going to petition to join the chief's guard. Outlander. This is your chance to train. I've been traveling on an empty stomach. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. What good is anyone who likes that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Akaro? When the Chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels. 
in the clearing. Take the lead. Stop right Don't there! Get in the way of our mission! <laughs> they have stoked the follow-up! No! I've got her in my sight! <laughs> Come this way. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. To see his pride ruined. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready. Useful for making now announce us. Marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Mid Arter soldier, he's not made a straw. Is that Apollo? What's he doing with the Loudland? 
Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer shunned. I wonder how much snow is gonna pile up. We're here for Takote. Let us in. The Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Root. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow, if he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the Embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now, to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. You tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. You, Outlander. Beaten already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. Is Link holding up? distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Hey, time to scan the wall. <sighs> Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? 
I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall, near that waterfall. Scan that tank again. Power core. I bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark, right? But don't remind me. So, we take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the Rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. The Rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you may lack sense. You don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. The Sky Clan will fall. Frost will hurt it. Come <laughs> on. 
pierce them! to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. under my boots. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up? Well, go on. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves, and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now, and take this cripple with you. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The Bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. 
you decreed that no challenges would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now, unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takota's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gara. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Come and trade. You really think I'll gain more?
she's with us. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Catalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And Ether. to the arena. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. May your enemies fall. This could be useful. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that. The defenses will hold. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. We'll assist Marshal Catalo with guarding the chief. We all have our orders. We'll see the cool group. This will be a heavy day. We honor the Marshal who fell in those battles. Fall. coming. No lowlander is going to earn this right. You're watching. Regala will strike soon. Regala means to make good. We'll be ready. 
Mr. Cote, this thug is of course. Look, come. She's a champion. What an honor. Mr. Cote fixed his <gasps> Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Karo's defenders should be at the end of the stretch. And look, we are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but to you, we'll show her our teeth. Upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! Take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
there. What is that? I don't know. Ballista.
isn't finished I'll be back with everything I have and all who stand with Hakaro will be run red at attention you fought well proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Dala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Get this back to Gaia. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Here. This must be the vision that Chief Ikaro saw years ago. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? Visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Ikaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. 
following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Honor is right. You've come this far. We will stand by you. They start as challengers. What You'll need you? courage for that to come. Could you imagine bringing down one of those tremor tusks the rebels are about? Aloy. I, I wish. I earned so many marks for that. What do you mean? To be only one mark, one kill. Do you not know how to kill? Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cabo. He was not counted among the dead which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Cavo is the last of my blood. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? 
A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. In the time it would take me to get a full strike at a trial, I could earn three half strikes. I see you, champion. Sit, please. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. Race? Definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. This? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Old ones painted their faces with something called makeup, like the Karcha. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them, as it does to my people and the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is. That's all. That it does.
this is gonna take a while. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zenith be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond... ...and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself... ...I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. <laughs> 